Good afternoon. Ben Crossan here again for another midweek recap. Today we're going to be covering the last thing that we covered in Ephesians, in our journey through Ephesians over the last month and a half. We're going to be covering a message called Strong in the Lord from Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. And we covered a couple different things while we were getting into this passage about being strong in the Lord. The first is the reality of God's power. And we thought about God's power. And we talked about God's power. And him revealing his power in a lot of different ways on this earth. He's revealed his power through keeping the cosmos in order. And the planets in orbit in the way that they're supposed to be. He's revealed his power by fueling the sun and all the different stars in our universe. He's revealed his power by keeping heartbeats going all over the world. That some hearts can go for over 100 years. God's revealed a lot of power in his creation. But he also has revealed his power through the life of Jesus. He revealed his power through the life of Jesus through miracles, like healing people's lives and their different diseases and sicknesses, by calming storms, showing his power over creation, by forgiving sins. Sometimes we just can't find enough power to forgive ourselves or forgive other people. But Jesus reveals God's power by forgiving even sins as he walked around on earth and told people, your sins are forgiven. He had the authority and the power to do it. Jesus also showed God's power by dying on a cross for our sins and raising from the dead and showing the power to conquer hate with love, to conquer darkness with light, to conquer life over death. And then the next thing that we talked about after talking about the reality of God's power was the reality of evil. That we live in a world where darkness comes at different people's lives in a lot of different ways. And a lot of times people are experiencing presences in their life that try to steal, kill, and destroy them as they go through life's journey. And we talked about the Bible talking about our battles not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, authorities, the rulers in the spiritual realm, dark forces of evil, that the Bible teaches that this is not all that there is, just everything that we see, but that there's a spiritual realm of reality that interacts with this one. And it's at play for the different evils that we see in this world. But the good news is, and this is the next thing that we talked about, that God has given us gifts. Gifts to stand up against evil in this world. We talked about the belt of truth, the truth of Christ that keeps things together in our lives against confusing things that might come against our faith. We talked about the breastplate of righteousness and that's signifying something over our heart, the Christ righteousness we can rely on for different things in the world. That it's just not us living the right way, that, that Christ has given us his righteousness to protect our hearts from fear and accusations. We talked about the shield of faith and that us expressing our faith can help us stand up against fears and lies that can come at us from our own minds, but also from the mouths of the people that are around us. We talked about gospel feet of peace, that when we put on Christ in our lives, we put on different motives. And when we put on different motives, it leads us to different places. And we have a reason why to go different places, to share Christ Jesus and his peace at the different places that we go to, to be instruments of peace. We also talked about people praying for us and us praying for other people. The need that we, that we all have in our lives of needing a team, that we need to be on other people's teams that people are struggling with things. And we need to offer ourselves and maybe even pray faithfully, picking each, maybe a different day of the week to pray for different people in our lives, individuals or groups of people, that we help people with our prayer lives, of being on their teams, but also the need for us to invite people on our team 
that we can't fight our battles on our own. The point of the message this week was this. Actually, it was a few points. One of the points is that we all struggle. Everybody struggles with something. Second is that spiritual darkness is real in people's lives. People have felt it in different ways all over the world. And you and I, we feel it in our lives in different ways. It's real. But then the last point is this, is that God cares about our struggles with evil. He cares. And he's shown that he's cared in a lot of different ways, and especially through the life of Jesus and his work on the cross and his resurrection. The challenge of the message this week was this. Use what God has given you to stand up against evil. Learn about it more. Read Ephesians chapter 6. Get in your scriptures. Learn about the life of Jesus. But also learn about the armor of God and interacting with God's truth in your life, his righteousness in your life, his peace in your life, and inviting people to pray for you and you praying for other people. And the other challenge of the message is this, is that Jesus is the victory over evil. He is the master warrior over evil. We can rely on him and we encourage you today. As I encourage myself, rely on Jesus. Look to Jesus in your struggles with evil. So with that being said, I just want to read one last passage for you today just to encourage you before... I bless you with a good day. But this is 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5. And it says this. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. It's talking about evil strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Once again, we want to encourage you, whatever you're struggling with, bring it to Christ. And get together with other people and bring it to Christ. And look to obey Christ. Taking those steps away from evil into his light and his goodness. His victory. His sweet love for our lives. So with that being said... Thanks for joining us again today. If nobody's told you they love you, we love you here from Deerfield Friends. And Jesus loves you so much more. We hope you have a good week and that you share the sweet love of Jesus with the people around you. Go with Jesus. Though the moon